Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to discuss septic tanks and high water tables. So it's a very common problem so I suppose there's two questions which I'm going to address now. How will having a high water table affect you if you've got a septic tank and soak away and more importantly is there a simple solution or fix right to the problem of having a high water table. So first of all, let me show you the problems that come from living in an area where the water table is quite high. Right, okay, so this is your septic tank and this is your soak away. So you've got your inlet pipe and you've got your outlet pipe, right? So water comes into the septic tank, right? And then it will fill up to this level here. Okay, so this is your waste water. It will then normally make its way down the outlet pipe and then it'll make its way into the soak away here. So that's how a septic tank and soak away work. Now, if you live in an area that has a high water table, right, it will affect right, the function and the permeability of the water in the soak away, right? So what do I mean by that? Well, normally the water would just soak away naturally into the soil like so okay but when you've got a high water table so let's say the water table is the same height as the water in the septic tank which is here so let's say the water table comes to here well if your soak away is now surrounded by water <laughs> it can't soak away anymore anymore because the height of the water table will engulf and consume your soak away so the water will literally come out from your septic tank, go into the soak away and just stay there. And then what will happen is, as your house produces more and more wastewater, the wastewater in the septic tank, the levels will just rise and rise and rise until it reaches the manhole cover. And then it will just spill out or overflow onto your lawn or onto your grass. So that's typically what happens if you live in an area where there's a high water table or if you're unfortunate enough because it's rained a lot the water table maybe it was down here at one time rises in the winter all right so that's the problem all right associated with having a high water table so what can you do about it right and that's what many people ring me up and ask me they say our water is not soaking away it's overflowing onto the grass what can we do Jason so I'm going to show you two really simple solutions now all right so <clears throat> if i just erase that for a second so it gives me some more room to draw so one of the first and most common solutions is to relocate the height of the outlet pipe all right so at the moment this is the existing height of the outlet pipe so you can raise it right so it's a couple mil below the inlet pipe. So for example, in this instance, you could put a new outlet pipe to here. And once you've done that, you can then raise the height or the level of your soak away to here. All right. So that then means you can decommission your old soak away there. The old outlet pipe there, you can just uh, bung up. Uh, when I say bung up, you know, you can just concrete or cement it in or put a plug in there, right, which will seal right the tank so then that means from then on instead of overflowing now right because this is the height of your water table all right so let's put it right that's the height of the water table there so let me now just take that off so what happens now when the septic tank fills up with liquid it will then get to this point it'll go into here it'll go into the soak away and the soak away will be able to soak away naturally again into the soil so some people say, well, hold on, if, if the water table is like a foot or two below the soak away, even though I've raised it, will it still soak away? Well, yes and no, all right? More often yes than no. So what are some good indications that if you've got a high water table and you've uh, raised the height of the soak away, that it will still soak away? Well, if the ground, right, even though you've got a high water table, if the ground, the grass is dry, it's not boggy or marshy or there's not a lake, or a big pool there, then that shows that whatever water is coming into this uh, air, this level uh, section of topsoil is draining away. Another good indication, right, 
is to survey the area and the land in and around your land. So if there's any brooks or streams or rivers, right, that's normally the lowest point. And rain, once it rains, right, water always goes to the lowest point. So it falls on the mountains, falls on the high things, and eventually it all makes its way back into the sea and the process starts all over again. So water doesn't need much of a fall to travel, even in the worst boggy areas, right? In the UK, the water, funnily enough, will still drain away, it just drains away a bit slower, that's all. So the point is, if your grass and the soil that you've dug into is dry, then that's a very, very good indication, right, that the water um, that comes out of your new soak away that you've installed will drain away. All right, so what if you can't, right, raise the level of the outlet pipe? So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say this was the original, right, position of the soak away, right, and your soak away was here. Let's say, for example, that you can't do it. So what would be some reasons as to why you can't do that? Well, let's pretend, right, that the inlet pipe was about here, coming into the tank. So if it was there, then obviously you can't have the outlet pipe higher than the inlet pipe. <laughs> you know, it'll just, you know, the water will just like start backing up almost straight away back towards your house, right? So obviously that won't, won't work because everything works via gravity. So, but, so what do you do then if you can't raise the height of your outlet pipe? Well, what you can do, you can actually put a, a pump chamber, right? So you can put a pump chamber here, right? Like so. And in there, there'll be a submersible pump, which is normally on legs like that. And then you have an inch and a quarter pipe, which will come from here, like a hose pipe, right? Into your soak away there. So then what happens is every time you uh, flush the loo or use the washing machine or whatever, you know, or, 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 you know, pull the plug out and let a bath load of water come into the septic tank, you'll get a relative displacement, right? So you get a bath load of water come here, a bath load of water will come into the pump chamber and then a, it, they usually work on a float switch. It'll kick in, right? And then it, it will pump a bath load of water into your soak away there and then as we um, saw before, there you go, that's your inch and a quarter pipe. As we saw before, that water will then just soak away naturally into the soil. So these pumps are normally on for about half an hour a month, something like that, because if you imagine, right, they can pump thousands of liters out um, every hour. So a bath load of water will just be pumped out literally in a minute or two. And so, um, so that is a very good option. The pumps you can get from Screwfix are about 85, 95 quid. They last you about five or six years. The pump chambers is just uh, like an inspection chamber. You can get them, they're about 200 quid. So for about 300 quid, you can put a pump and a pump chamber in, which will then pump the water up to basically whatever height you want to raise your soak away to. I mean, that's a good level there. Some people like to raise the soak away a bit more so it's a bit nearer the grass. The closer to the grass, the better. So there you go. That's what you do if you live in an area with a high water table. So thank you very much for watching this video today. Um, if you'd like more free help and advice and like to see more free videos, of how to fix and solve septic tank problems and just go to septictank.co.uk or you can go onto Google and type in septic tank TV or go onto YouTube, septic tank TV, you'll see more of me and thousands of videos I've done, free videos which will help you and give you lots of tips and advice. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're in with a chance to win a free septic tank and soak away kit or a big mag mega bucket of septic tank soak away worms, which keep soak aways unblocked. So thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.